Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Crack MRCS. This channel is dedicated for MRCS exam and it will be very helpful for you to pass the MRCS exam. And this channel uh, contains the question uh, uh, and answer session and also uh, the topics will be discussed uh, in different parts of the lecture. So here uh, the questions. Uh, the question is the esophagus is constricted at the following level apart from so here uh, the esophagus is constricted that means uh, part of the esophagus is constricted or narrower uh, but which level it not constricted in the options below here the options the options are cricoid cartilage arts of the outer at the level of the lower esophageal sphincter, at the level of the left main stem bronchus, and at the level of the diaphragmic hiatus. So we have to find out. First of all, we have to know where the constriction of the esophagus present, and if we get uh, the points where the esophagus get uh, constricted, then it will be very easy for us to find out where the constriction of the esophagus not present. So here we can see the esophagus. Esophagus. It starts uh, from the uh, pharyngoesophageal junction here, and it descends down, down, and pa after passing the diaphragm, it uh, ends uh, at the stomach. And we can see in it is uh, pathway. There are different structure. We can see here the arts of the outer left main bronchus. The different structure is usually present in the pathway of the esophagus. So uh, here we can see the esophagus also the parts here the cervical part and this part is the thoracic part and very smaller abdominal part also present. So esophagus usually um, represented three parts cervical part, thoracic part and abdominal part. Here you can see the site of the constriction of the esophagus first of all we can see uh, the esophagus it starts from the uh, pharynx pharyngoesophageal junction here and this point the entry point that means the pharyngoesophageal junction here the first constriction present and it is six inches from the incisor teeth then second one we can see here is the arch of the outer at the point of the arch of the outer there is another constriction of the esophagus the third one is left principal bronchus here the left principal bronchus here is the third constriction and this third constriction is 11 centimeter from the incisor teeth and fourth one that means here the of the diaphragm or aperture of the diaphragm that means esophageal opening of the diaphragm here is the fourth constriction and it is 15 centimeter from the incisor teeth so first of all pharyngoesophageal junction first constriction second constriction at the point of the arch of the outer and third constriction point at left principal bronchus and fourth constriction point at the diaphragmic aperture so here we can see there is a mnemonic here for to remember the constriction of the esophagus that we, it is a b c d a for arch of the outer b for bronchus c for cricoid cartilage that means pharyngoesophageal junction with pharyngoesophageal junction lies at the cricoid cartilage point and d for diaphragmic diaphragmatic hiatus so a b c d here a for outer b for bronchus c for cricoid cartilage and d for diaphragm so here uh, we can see the site and distance the first one cricoid cartilage or pharyngoesophageal junction it is 15 centimeter from the incisor teeth second one arch of the outer it is 22.5 centimeter from the incisor teeth and third one is left principal bronchus it is 27 centimeter from the incisor teeth and fourth one is the diaphragmatic hiatus which is 40 centimeter from the incisor teeth so here we can see our final answer 
the esophageal constriction present uh, the very easy uh, we read a mnemonics a b c d a for arch of the aorta b for bronchus c for cricoid cartilage and d for diaphragmatic hiatus and finally lower esophageal sphincter it is not constricted part of the esophagus uh, because in the lower esophageal sphincter here only the muscle present there is no definitive narrowing and this lower esophageal sphincter here the smooth muscle works as a sphincter but here is no constriction so here our final answer is lower esophageal sphincter it is not constricted